the meantime, joining us on the phone is Eric Knudsen. He is multi-asset CIO at Newberger Berman. Also, Janelle Woodward, who's the head of fixed income at BMO Global Asset Management. Eric, let's start with you. You're watching this this morning. What are you thinking? We're thinking, we're thinking that the, what the Fed did last night may help heal Treasury market liquidity, but it hasn't addressed uh, cred, credit market liquidity and the, and the real concern here, which is that this is not a financial crisis. This is a growth shock, and I think that's, that point was made by several of your guests earlier this morning. And while it's very important for the Treasury market to regain normal functioning because investors need hedges, as long as the credit markets are, are dysfunctional, as long as you see the gap that Mike just pointed out between the Russell 2000 and, and the S&P 500, where the real issue, the real concern is around smaller companies, around the real economy, around businesses being able to finance their activities over the next several months, um, we're not going to have clarity on how we get through this episode. Janelle, what are you seeing in the Treasury markets this morning? What kind of dislocations, or did the Fed actually help things? And, and what do you think is going to happen today. Certainly a move uh, lower in yields, which to us signifies another significant risk off day. It's a little bit too soon to see how credit spreads are going to move. I think when we look at the action over the weekend, uh, it was significant. Uh, it may not uh, completely alter the tone of the market, but it was necessary. I think the Fed has been in this, this case where in a risk management framework, it's been responding exactly to what the market needed. And when we look at some of the liquidity challenges in the market last week, it really had to step in and be ahead of expectations. And so this wasn't just about cutting the target rate, but also what it did with a primary credit rate, uh, encouraging banks to really step in um, as well as restarting asset purchases. So it may not fix everything and change the tone, but it was absolutely necessary in our opinion. Hey, Eric, I just wanted to go back to what, what you mentioned, and, it, and it's very true. Based on all of my reporting, it, this, is, this is a Main Street crisis at this point, and, and that's what people are looking at. My question to you, though, as an investor is, so much of this is going to be about a bet on what the policy response is going to be, which is to say what the Treasury Department and or what you think the Federal Reserve may or may not do over the next several days and weeks. And so how do you make that gamble? Well, it's, it, it, this is, uh, I think gambling is, a, is the right term. I think that, that absent a clear view of, of fundamentals and a market that is actually related to fundamentals, it's very hard to kind of pick levels and, and assess kind of um, more short-term trades. I think what, from a policy standpoint, what will make a difference is not necessarily classical um, Fed policy because, you know, rates, lower rates aren't going to help small businesses. Uh, buying, the Fed buying corporate debt, corporate credit could. Now, there's, that, that requires some, some change in, in regulatory framework or, or um, structural framework, but it's already happening in Europe and Japan, and that's been, that's been successful. But it's really going to have to come from the, from the fiscal side. And uh, an example is what Germany did, making $600 billion uh, available in credit for um, the business sector in, in Germany. Um, you know, a similar type of, type of approach in the U.S. or targeted uh, fiscal policy to support uh, Eric, small Eric, businesses if, will be if, helpful. If the government came out and, and said that they were going to make the equivalent of, of a bridge loan, if you will, available to, to small businesses across the country, and again, the mechanics of how you would do that would invariably be complicated, how much confidence would that add back to the market and how much confidence would it add back to the country? I think those are the kinds of steps that, that will help people gain a sense that they can get through what is looking like it should be a temporary situation, but which can become a longer-term crisis if you see kind of massive stress in the smaller company, small business area. Hey, Janelle, in terms of the response that we've seen, this coordinated effort uh, coming from the central banks, does that give you additional faith, the idea that this is now being tightly coordinated? I think the coordination is important. And I think to the earlier comment, it's not just about global central banks. 
um, continuing to step in. Um, it is also about that fiscal piece. And I think what, what needs to be appreciated and what's different is that this is the first time we've been through a crisis where we have the regulatory constraints on bank balance sheets. And so I think as a first order um, effect, it's really we need to be able to figure out how we can support banks in lending and extending credit. Um, again, the solvency isn't about banks themselves, which is what we saw during the financial crisis, but that next layer down. And so the Fed can support that, but we actually need tools to directly, directly reach the businesses that, that are most at risk.